So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use uh, if else and uh, one button uh, to hide and uh, show uh, some objects. And right now I will very quickly show you what we are going to be doing. So we are very simply going to have something like this, uh, some button and uh, some some shape. And if I'm going to click on the button, it is going to hide the shape. And if I click one more time, it is going to show the shape. And uh, I will show you three different ways uh, how you can do something like this. Uh, so basically, very quickly, I'm going to create some kind of uh, shape. So I will get the rectangle tool, some color, and I'm going to draw something like this. And I will get the text tool, and I'm going to just uh, write something like uh, page uh, one, for example. And I already created the similar tutorials, but uh, but yeah, in this I would like to show you uh, more options. Now uh, I'm not going to uh, align it. I don't care for now. I'm just going to select it like so. I will click F8 or modify convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this to be symbol one. I'm not going to be bothered with this naming, and I will click OK. And uh, right now, if I click on this, I can see that it is movie clip and there is an, uh, an option to instance name and I'm going to call this to be page one. And this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this with JavaScript. And right now I'm going to create some kind of button. So I will get a rectangle tool and I will get uh, maybe orange color like so. And I will create something like this and I will get a text tool, white color uh, like, uh, like so. And I'm going to call this to be my button, for example. And uh, one more time, I'm not going to be really worried about the aligning and I'm going to just uh, select it F8, symbol two is fine. And uh, this one I'm going to call my button. Now I'm going to create new layer and on this new layer, we are going to write the code. So I will right click, I will choose actions and now we can start to write. So I'm going to type this, uh, then uh, the name of the, of the thing that I want to click and I want to be able to click on the button. So I'm going to type uh, this uh my button uh, then i'm going to type on uh, and i want this to be on uh, click so i'm going to type like this on click and then the function that i want to call so i'm going to call a uh, function which is going to be toggle pages uh, f for example but this name is optional and uh, then i'm going to have to write uh, dot bind and uh, this like uh, like so and basically right now we have uh even listener or uh, we have this button on and when we are going to click on this button when we are going to click we are going to call this uh, function and uh, this bind this basically means that uh, when i'm going to be inside of the function i'm going to create the function so function uh, uh toggle pages f uh, and parentheses and curvy parentheses and this uh, bind this basically means that right now I will be able to write this inside like like so without this uh, I wouldn't be able to write it like so in here but that's not the point and now what I want to do so when I'm going to click on the button uh, what I want to do is uh, I would like to get uh, my page uh, away so I'm going to very uh, simply type uh, this uh, page uh, one and I will go with visibility. So visible is going to be false like so. And uh, yeah, and right now if I'm going to hit control enter uh, and if, if I don't have any error and I will click, uh, it is going to disappear. You can click F12 on the Google, Google Chrome uh, to make sure that you don't have any errors. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't have. I had uh, here a little red line, but uh, yeah, that uh, that was nothing uh, now. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create some kind of variable. So I'm going to type uh, let, or you can type var, but I'm going to type, type let. Uh, my number is going to be, for, for example, zero. And now I'm going to create very simple if else. So I will type if, if my number, I'm going to copy this. Uh, so if my number is uh, equal and right now we are going to put a double equal sign uh, because when you are when you have one equal sign you are assigning a value so in here i am setting that my number is going to be zero if i'm going to say it's going to be two it's going to be two and when i have uh, two equal sign or you can also have three but uh, yeah uh, but when you have two uh, it means that it is going to comparing so if my number is equal to zero if i'm going to say is equal to two this doesn't mean that i am putting my number to be two my number still is zero because it's in here 
okay but yeah uh, if my number is going to be zero then what i want to do is uh, i want to hide this patch and basically at the beginning we said that my number is going to be zero and then I am comparing if my number is zero, it is, so it is going to hide me the page. I can hit Ctrl Enter to make sure, but uh, yeah, it's working. And uh, then what I can do is I can type uh, else, and in this else I can type that uh, that uh, this my number uh, my page one visible is going to be is going to be true. Okay, but what we what we have to do? Uh, we will have to change this number so. Uh, if my number is zero, I want to hide the page one, but I want to change this variable. So I'm going to copy this, my number, control C, and I will paste it in here, control V, and I'm going to set with one equal sign that my number is going to be var, uh, one, for example. But you can go with two, you can go with uh, 540, uh, whatever, but I'm going to set it to one. Okay, so basically I'm just changing the value of my number one, and uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, uh, and then uh, in this else I am going to set my number uh, to be to be zero like uh, like so and I will try whether this is going to be working I will hit Ctrl Enter and uh, yeah and uh, yeah now I can maybe try to explain one one more time so at the beginning my number is zero and I have this even listener of this my on on my button and then I have uh, this uh, this function that I'm going to call when I click on the button and I have the condition if my number is zero so at the beginning it is zero it is going to hide the page one and it is going to change uh, the number uh, to be one okay and then when I click one more time uh, on this button uh, this variable has changed this my number is no longer zero but it's one so right now it's not going to follow these instructions but it's going to go with this one okay because the number is no longer zero it's one because we have changed it so uh, on the next click it is going to call the else so this page one visible is going to be true so it is going to show it and then it is going to change my number to zero so when i click the third time the next time uh the my, my number is going to be zero so i will go with uh, with this one Okay, but then we will change my number to one. So the next time we will go with this one. And uh, I can have this uh, as a two. I can have this as a five. Uh, it really, it really doesn't matter right now. Uh, but uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, write this a little bit more specifically. So I can have this uh, else, or I can have this else if. And when I am going to have else if, I am going to put a parenthesis, and right now I am going to specify it. So I, I can uh, co copy this, control C, and paste it in here, control V, and I can have else if my number is going to be equal to zero. Okay, and right now it is still going to be working, control enter, uh, like, uh, like so. But uh, now when, uh, when I have this uh, specification, and I would change my number to maybe number two, like so uh, it's uh, not going to be working anymore because uh, yeah i hope that uh, this makes sense uh, but i am going to get rid of it like so and i want to have this only else and i can have this uh, to be one and i will hit Control enter one more time to make sure that i didn't uh, make some kind of error and okay this is uh, this is one way how we can uh, do something like this but we do not need to work with the uh, numbers uh, like here but i could work maybe with uh, true and false so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, keep uh, the name my number and I'm going to set my number to be true at the beginning. Okay, uh, usually this uh, type of variable uh, you would name it differently, but for now it's okay for me. So I have let my number is equal to true. And then I can write in here if uh, and I'm going to type only uh, my number. So I'm going to put it like so. So when you have a condition with true and false you do not need to write if my number is equal to true but only what you need to do is write if my number <laughs> this if my number in here means that if my number is equal to true okay uh, you maybe can write it also with this way if my number is equal to true but that's uh, i'm not even sure but i think that it would work uh, but basically you only need to write if my number okay and uh, if my number it means that if my number is true uh, this page one visible is going to be false and i'm going to change my number to be false like so and else uh, 
uh, this page one visible is true and my number is going to be true. I will hit control enter and it is going to be uh, working like uh, like so. And uh, one more time we have the same thing. So at the beginning it's true. So uh, if I click it is going to uh, check the condition if it's true and it is true. So it is going to hide the page one and change my number to be false. So next time when I click it is going to call the else function where it is going to put the visibility of the page to be true and it is going to change my number to be to be true. And uh, like so. And um, if I would, uh, uh, I, I could uh, write that if my number is uh, equal to false, like uh, like so, uh, that also would be one option if you want to work like that. Or uh, there is uh, also one possibility, and it's uh, if you are going to write something like this, if my number, like so, this means that uh, if my number is false. Okay, if you have it like so, it's like if my number is true, and if you put it like so, uh, with this, uh, I don't even know how to call it, uh, but uh, it would mean that if my number is false, if you want to do this like so. Okay, so this was like the second way, uh, and uh, maybe the one more way, uh, but that's uh, something that I wouldn't use uh, very often, but uh, you can use it in uh, other, other occasion. I'm going to change this to let my name, and I'm going to say that the let my name is, for example, my name is uh, Martin. So I'm going to type let my name is Martin. And I'm going to copy this right now, control C, and I'm going to paste it in here, control V. And I can type if my name is equal to Martin, and I will have to write it the same way with the capital M and so on. So if my name is Martin, this page one visible is going to be false. And uh, my uh, I will have to change the variable from my number to my name. I could have uh, let, uh, I could uh, have my number is equal to Martin, but I wanted to change this. So uh, and I'm going to change this. So my name is going to be equal. And right now I can write the uh, whatever whatever different name. Okay, so uh, I can type something like uh, Peter. Okay, and now uh, I can. Uh, I can do the same thing uh, in here in the else. So this page one visible is going to be true. And then uh, I'm going to copy this control C and I will paste it in here control V. And one more time I will change this uh, to be to be Martin like so. And I will hit control enter. And uh, this uh, is going to be work, uh, work the same way. So yeah, uh, I hope that uh, this makes sense. Uh, it, it is the same thing as before. At the beginning, it was Martin, so it is going to call uh, call this one, and then we are changing it to Peter. So next up, we will click. It will call the else one, and uh, and uh, in the else, we are going to change it to the Martin. So next time I will click, it will call this one. So yeah. Uh, this is it. I just wanted to show you these uh, three little different ways. There may be ma more ways how you can do uh, things like this, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you something like this. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like. And uh, if you are not subscribed yet, uh, consider to subscribe. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, any support uh, with likes and so on uh, helps me. So yeah. Thank you very much and hopefully I will see you in some other tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.